Hey guys, it's Bill, Competition Cars. Now, we're going to do the driving video on this 1981 Cadillac Eldorado Baritz. 46,000 original miles. Beautiful, beautiful condition. The sun is shining. I want Christian to get some good shots of his paint and the outside natural light. Laser straight body. Car's been wet sanded and buffed. Look at the metallic. I mean, that thing is just freaking awesome. I just don't, I just don't think there's a better color for an for a 81 Eldorado. I mean, it just looks really great in this color. Bright work is popping. Brush aluminum roof. Beautiful vinyl top in great condition. Tires looking great. The wheels, the whole nine. I mean, the car is just all there. Look at that. That's a beautiful car. Paint across the trunk. I mean, that metallic is just it's amazing. Look at that. Kind of. It's got a heck of a reflection, too. Like I said, I spent a lot of time on this car. Come down this side, too, Christian. Kind of get a side shot of the rear quarter. Down the side here, how nice and straight it looks. So I'm going to hop in the car. we got the air blowing, nice and cold. Take it for a little spin, and we'll see what we got here. All right, so 46,845 miles. Factory bucket seats, which is kind of unusual. Automatic climate control works perfectly. Air is cold. So I'm gonna show you guys, door locks are working. Windows are working. There's your driver's side, there's your passenger side. Horn, got the boss, hog sounded horn. All the tilt mechanisms work on the driver's power seat. Christian, try your seat. Yep. Power mirror as well on this side. Power mirror as well on the passenger side. Both power mirrors work. It has the outside temperature gauge on the mirror. Wipers work. Everything on the dash lights up like it should. All right, instant average. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna. AM, FM, oh, that's a cassette, actually. The radio does work and the antenna works. I don't play the radios during the videos, as I've told you before, or monetized. If you play play music, it, it won't give you credit for your video. So let's take it out for a little spin. So that's the cylinder. Yeah, so let me, right. so let's, let's do, hey, let's do something here. Let's do all, through all the, all right, so this is your instant average or miles per gallon. As your, as your, um, that's, that's a cool metric. Metric in English. Okay. All right, so as you're driving, it tells your instant miles to the gallon. This resets, if you want to do average, let's see, miles per gallon after you reset it. And this is your active cylinder. So this is the 468. So right now you can see it's running on eight cylinders. Right. So you're, you're stepping on it and driving it a little not hard, but requiring full power. It's on eight cylinders. So then, so now you let off the gas. You're kind of coasting. It knocks it back down to four cylinders. See there? Giving it some gas. You're back to eight. Now it's six. I'm just partial throttling it, so it's six. Step on it a little harder. Goes back to eight. Catching all that crisp, you see it? Yep. You see the numbers? Okay, good. Now I'm off the gas, then you're back down to four. So that absolutely works as it should. Pretty shocking to see. So fuel range, this is, there's a switch here, it's metric and metric and English. What is it changing though? That's weird. So there's a switch here, it says metric and English. I don't see anything changing, but that switch is there. Showing 14 gallons of gas, fuel range 211 miles to empty, 213. That's going to fluctuate a little bit. Let's see. you got your instant average here, or, or yeah, instant, and then that's your average. Let's see, average. Oh, I have to reset it. I'm sorry. Okay, that's your instant and average, and then back to the cylinder. 
So it's a fork, you'll barely touch the gas. Ask for some power, it goes to eight cylinders. So there you go, so that works. Paint across that hood. I just can't get enough of looking at the paint on this car. It's just such an attractive color. It's so slick, it's so shiny, and so metallic -y. I got the air set at automatic at 67. It is cooling beautifully on this hot, a warm day. Not hot, hot, but warm enough. We'll check the cruise on the way back. The cruise work that they hit it's on, it lights up, so we're gonna see if it actually works. If we turn around, get it more level speed. Both turn signals work, so everything in the car works. There's not anything I have found yet that does not work. I said even the power antenna is working. The car drives like a dream, it's soft, it's quiet, it's comfortable. I mean, you feel like a million bucks driving this thing. And these cars were downsized from the previous gen, but it's still a very large nose out in front of you. So you still feel like you kind of on the road when you're driving this thing. Check out all the pictures on Bring a Trailer. We've got some good undercarriage shots. It's clean under there. Engine bay's in great shape. All right, so I'm gonna pull out. Right, step on it. full eight cylinders and it's a six liter so it doesn't have a ton of horsepower it shifts good but it moves the car down the road pretty pretty uh pretty good it's very acceptable for what you have and now people are complaining oh my gosh it only has 100 and whatever horsepower and i'm like well i'm not sure if you're buying this car to just to cruise around in luxury or you're trying to win some races but i don't think anything you, you could buy in 81 had any kind of large horsepower number I think even 81 Corvettes probably came with 180, 185, and maybe if you got the L82, you, you had 200 horsepower or two something, 205. I mean, I remember even in 84, the Corvettes only had, what, 205 horsepower. It was a lot of horsepower. So there was a lot of concentration on focus on fuel economy back in those days. But um, they say that this is the last great engine from Cadillac as far as where they started getting those 4100s, which, you know, they can be good. I mean, any engine could be good or bad. I'm not saying all 4100s are bad because they're not. Some people don't like these 468s. I'm sure maybe one guy along the way had an issue with it, you know, with the computer, but this one works perfectly. And again, can easily be disconnected to function as a normal V8, which I would not leave it like it is. I mean, I can't tell the difference. You're not feeling like a loss of power or anything. So they did a pretty good job with that system. Um, down, look at the carpets with the flat floorboard. Beautiful, beautiful, clean carpets. Again, this is a two-owner car that was very well preserved. So, you gotta check the cruise. Oh yeah, let me check the cruise. All right, so the cruise is. Hold on, let's set it. Okay, so it's on. And yes, it is working. Excel. Let's see if we're a little too slow to excel. The last cruise control I checked, I said it didn't work, but I was hitting the button so many times every time I was turning it on, I was turning it off. All right, so let's get up to speed a little bit. It's, it's on there. lit up, it's powering up, and it's turning on, so. Yeah, you know, right. yeah I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. It feels like it's working. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. You guys bid all you can. We appreciate you taking a look at it. It's a beautiful car, and um, any questions, put them in the comment section, guys. Thanks.